So today I'm going to talk to you about retail. And uh, last week was the first time we shared kind of this sneak peek into what we're doing. Um, and then now again today. So keep in mind as we go through this that a lot of this is still in development and um, a bit of a work in progress. So here we go. All right, as Paul mentioned earlier today, Puerto Rico has a very diverse mobile user base of over 3 million cell phones in use, ranging from entry-level feature phones to premium smartphones. And smartphones are being adopted at a rate of about 36% annually in Puerto Rico. And we know about 90% of households in Puerto Rico have at least one mobile phone. So Puerto Rico is truly mobile first. And mobile is the main access point to over 77% of internet users. Now that's about 1.7 million people. And there's over 60% internet penetration across the island. That's about 2.2 million people. And finally, as Paul also mentioned earlier, all of that makes for a very interesting and competitive carrier landscape. So for us to better understand how we should approach retail, we did some qualitative research on the ground. We wanted to get to know the people, what they like, what they don't, how they use technology, and how they shop. And we met a lot of interesting people, some of which you see behind me. And here's a few things that we learned. First, mobile devices are a huge part of everyday life. It's a lifeline, and people are connected to it 100% of the day. Second, social media is a really big deal in Puerto Rico. Over 85% of internet users have a social media account, and 80% of those people are on Facebook alone. Social is how you find out about what's going on around you, whether it's a local food truck fair, if it's a new product, if it's a deal. Um, it's the primary connection point for things on and off the island. And when word gets out about something, it spreads incredibly fast. And lastly, people like to go to the store to make their purchases especially with technology, whether it's your phone, if it's a tablet, a laptop, upgrading their cell phone or their plan, people like to go to the store and do it in person. The human interaction point there is incredibly important, regardless if you have to stand in a long line, which we saw lots of that. We also know that on average, people do about two to three visits to the store before completing a purchase. So while small in total size, Puerto Rico loves to shop. And on average, one million people visit a mall each week. And they have the second largest mall in Latin America, Plaza de las Americas. It has a local economic impact of over $268 million and creates about 8,000 local jobs. It's almost like its own city. It even has two police stations and a fire department. And for stores like Macy's, Radio Shack, and Puma within Plaza, these locations are the busiest and the highest grossing for those brands, respectively, in the world. The malls are also social experiences. It's like the new city center. Socializing, shopping, grabbing a meal. In even some cases, people set up shop at a store laptop with a coffee, doing some work. We also saw a couple friends meeting up and having a dance-off at one of the gaming consoles. So malls are very social at the same right. And outside of the malls, business is good too. Some American companies like Walgreens and Costco have the highest sales per square foot than any of their other stores globally. So people are shopping, and we know for retail, having a great product and a great experience around that product are equally as important. So you may remember from the last DevCon and also mentioned this morning, um, this is the Make With Moto experience that the Project Aura team built about two summers ago. The team wanted to understand how do we make people fall in love with their phone? How can we make people emotionally connect with this thing that we spend so much of our day using? So we took a Sprinter van, we cut a hole in it, stuffed it full of 3D printers, laser cutters, hackable smartphones, and Jason drove 12,683 miles hosted 13 hackathons at 12 schools in 12 different states. The purpose of the test was twofold. First, we wanted to show proof of innovation that happens around an open smartphone ecosystem. And second, how people would interact with a mobile retail concept. And in five short months, 
we created over 7 million organic impressions with one van, eight people driving across the country. And we also learned a little bit about what we want to do next. So now, what you'll see is a bit of an evolution of that. We're still in the early stages of development, so I'm going to show you some rough sketches and some concepts. None of this is final. All right. We're building this really cool platform that could reshape the mobile landscape. We want the experience of buying and owning to be as unique as the product itself. So we're starting with mobile trucks. Think your childhood ice cream truck meets new rad tech. We're really excited about the potential. And we really like how it offers us a controlled, highly flexible environment that we get to design end to end. We can decide when, where, and how. We aren't stuck in one place. We're only limited by space and our own imaginations. Now, maybe that's crazy, and maybe that's the first time someone's doing it, but that makes us love it even more. We'll be bringing Aura to the people of Puerto Rico, one truck at a time. Now, we're building out our plans now, but we think it makes sense to start in San Juan. It's the most population dense and the historical and cultural epicenter of Puerto Rico. And then we'll build out from there. From the cobblestone streets of old San Juan, to the city center of Ponce, to the campuses of UPR, to the mountains of Caguas, and the beaches of Vieques, we'll be slowly rolling out our mobile trucks across the island. Now we know that retail experiences, like malls, are also social experiences. So we want to create an experience that people will enjoy. Maybe they'll come and hang out and enjoy their coffee. Maybe we'll even serve coffee. They can use our free Wi-Fi. We know that that's insanely popular there. It could, it could even look something like this. Now, this is just a render, and we have a lot of work to do around what it will actually be. And maybe you guys will actually have some ideas to share. We would love that. But we want the experience to be fun, the trucks to be vibrant, and we want people to leave saying that that was really amazing. And we know offering people a one-to-one -one experience is really important. So we want the process of creating a device from scratch to be surrounded with tools and people so there's no guesswork. And our highly trained staff will be their guide. We could even have things like this bento box inspired tray where you could walk around and easily pick and choose the things that you want. And simultaneously, this actually teaches someone how to construct their aura. Something else we're really excited about is the dye sublimation printing process, which we've talked a little bit about. And we're partnering with IDT Systems, who will be speaking a little bit later. But we're aiming to have the ability to customize and print every shell at or near point of sale on the same day. So no longer are you walking away with just a new phone and a case. You could walk away with something like this. And the possibilities are endless. We can cater to individual needs and preferences from module to shell. It's truly yours. Your camera, your processor, your design, it's your aura. OK, but what if you just want something simple? We know that not everyone will want to come in and build their aura from the ground up. So we need to make it really easy. And we could have ready-to-go kits. From a starter kit like this one that has everything you need to just set up and go, to ones based on theme, maybe for the hiking enthusiast, or maybe you're a camera person, or like many of us, you could be a frequent traveler. These can be curated packages of what we know people love and enjoy. And we want to make it incredibly simple for people to just grab it and go. So we've talked about mobile trucks, a little bit about the customer experience, ready-to-go kits. We've also been working with partners to develop packaging concepts. And we have a few renders to share. First, we want the packaging design to take into account the uniqueness of the Aura platform. So we have a couple different philosophies. First, we want to showcase customization. We want to celebrate the uh, geometry of the endo. We want to make module insertion simple. And this can be done by using the packaging as a tool to teach people how to put it together. We want to be under five minutes packaging customization time at point of sale. So from 
final module selection to actually putting it and packing it in the box. We want it to be quick, fast, and easy. We want to keep the cost low. And we want to take into account a range of individual module and bundled packaging. So I'm sure you've noticed by now that we like the concept around a bento box. We like how it celebrates choice and variety and how it's both beautiful and functional. So here's a render that takes that inspiration. And we like how it puts the endo and the modules front and center and neatly hides the components underneath that, like the charger and the user guide and some of the other parts that will be there. It also shows the user what the device looks like um, once they've constructed it. It's your fully kind of constructed aura there on the right. OK, here's a second idea around pouches. This kit would be interactive and celebrate the do-it-yourself assembly nature of the Ara platform. There would be three individual boxes, one for the endo, one for the front, and one for the rear modules. These three boxes would then stack together to create one single unit. Except for the endo, all the modules would be individually packaged into these pouches. Um, and we want the act of taking them apart and putting them together to be both fun and easy. Here's a design experienced by the experience of a storybook. This accordion-like packaging could guide you through the product and the components in the same way a book guides you through a story as you page through. And when you get to the end of the book, you can lay out all the pages like an accordion. You can see an overview of all the parts of the product. Like the phone, this packaging idea is also highly modular. And finally, we have the slider. The notion here is to create a packaging concept that reflects the interaction of assembling your Aura device. Pull on the tab, and the modules magically will slide in and out of the packaging in the same way that they slide in and out of your Aura. We like how this concept begins to recreate the magic of assembly. OK, so that was a very brief highlight of where we're going with packaging. And there's some things that we love. And there's some things that we know we need to keep working on. We have a lot to do, and we're doing it incredibly fast. The trucks, the experience, the packaging, it's all part of the RS story. And we're all part of it, too. Thanks.